Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I'm Carla, and this is my channel, Beauty with a Hammer. Now, who says you can't look gorgeous while you're working on a wood project? Obviously, they never saw my channel. Well, today I have a wonderful DIY project. It's super easy, super simple. So I'm going to be showing you in this video, step by step, how to create this tray table. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so for this project, I'm gonna be using a handsaw and a sander. I'm gonna use this pen for markings and then you're gonna need two handles. I bought these two at Home Depot. Um, they can be of your choice. Some finishing nails, protective glosses, um, a measuring tape, square, stain of your choice, a hammer, and then this is the type of wood you're gonna be using. This here is a one by three by eight and this is a one by four by eight. So once you have all of your materials, we'll be ready to start. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do to get this project started is I'm gonna measure out my pieces of wood. I'm going to take my one by four and I'm going to be measuring it out four sections at 19 inches long. And then I'm gonna measure out my one by three board um, at 14 inches. And you're only gonna need two of those. I'm going to be measuring out my one by three first and measure out 14 inches and make my markings on each side. And again, we need two of these boards. I'm gonna take my square here and make sure that my lines are straight. So then all you have to do is line this up just like this. Create a straight line. Do the same on the other line. And then at this point, I'm going to measure once again to make sure I have 14 inches. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure out the one by four board, and I'm gonna be measuring out four sections at 19 inches. This square comes so in handy. Before I had this little thing, like my lines were all kinds of crooked. And when you do any kind of project, that involves having straight lines. This is super important and super handy um, because then you're gonna be having this, like headaches and it's just not gonna be a whole lot of fun when your pieces don't fit perfectly like they're supposed to. All right, looks good. Power tool time! Um, yeah, that wasn't weird at all. One of the best things about being able to make things with my hands is definitely the power tools. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut each of the measured out pieces of wood so that we can continue on our project. All right guys, so if you are working by yourself, one of the tricks I found to help be helpful when I'm trying to cut pieces of wood is I have some clamps here and I've set these clamps up to hold down the piece of wood while I'm cutting. Now it doesn't always work if you have thicker pieces of wood. I definitely recommend anytime you use power tools um, of any kind to use some protective eyewear. It's so important because you gotta keep those beautiful eyes looking glam, especially me when I'm wearing my lashes. You know, I wanna protect my expensive lashes. You know what I'm saying, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pieces of wood Okay guys, so I have cut all of the four boards that I need. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is distress my wood. Now this step is totally optional. It helps you to de-stress in your life. So literally you can use a lot of different things to distress. Um, I have a, a meat tenderizer here. Um, I've also got some nails that have some different lengths to them. You can also use your hammer as well to distress. So I'm gonna go ahead and distress my pieces um, and have some fun with it. Man, every time when my, the corner of my lashes lifts up, this is what I feel like doing. my lash to stick to my lid. Just kidding. All right, guys. Yeah, I tell you, this is a great way to let out some stress whenever, you know, life gets a little crazy. So as you can see, um, some of these here, these markings here are from the meat tenderizer. This little marking here looks like a little crescent is from the hammer. 
and then this this one here as you can see is from the screw so like i said you can have so much fun just dressing your wood and you can just have fun with it like use different kinds of things to create different little shapes and character in your wood ah this is so much fun okay so i do have a power sander but you can definitely sand any of these projects um, especially this project by hand and i'm going to be smoothing out the edges of all of my pieces Okay guys, so I've sanded all of my pieces of wood. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to stain my wood. Now this is optional as well. You, There's lots of things you can do. You can leave the wood just as is. You can seal it with a clear coat. You can stain it with any color stain that you want. You can even paint your wood at this point as well. I am going to be staining my wood. I'm going to be using the color English Chestnut. Now typically I would wear gloves in this situation trying to stain my wood and avoid um, messing up my manicure um, but given the times the quarantine and corona I don't have access to any gloves right now so I'm just gonna be extra careful um, I'm gonna be using just an old rag here um, to stain the wood and hope that I don't mess up my manicure I'm going to stain the wood now this is a really light stain here it is a buildable one, but typically anytime I stain, I do usually do two coats of a stain. And so you wanna make sure very carefully that you stain all the edges. Now, like I said, it's not a very dark stain. And so even if I do mess up my manicure, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So as you guys can see, here is the difference between the stained wood and the one that isn't stained. And you can also see all the beautiful character that shows up when you stain wood, all the character that you did during the distressing, the distressing phase, it just pops and it looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and stain the rest of the pieces here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, my planks are all stained and they look beautiful. Now I'm going to be able to put it together. It's all coming together. So. What we're gonna need, I'm going to be using a hammer and some finishing nails. Now these finishing nails are one, two, one and a half. I'm gonna line them up here. And then I'm gonna be taking one of my, my 14 inch boards, lining it up to the edge of the tray table here. And then taking my finishing nails, I'm going to begin to nail these in here. So I'm gonna be placing one on the, at the beginning of this board here and then one at the end of that board here. So it'll be a total of two finishing nails per board um, as I'm, I'm going along this board here. Beautiful! So as you guys can see, now these little 14 inch planks are gonna hold these in line, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same on the other side with this other board. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. It is almost finished. I already love the way it looks. Um, so the last thing we're gonna do is put the handles on. So I bought these at Home Depot. They have all kinds of handles. And so I chose these black ones. And so I'm literally just going to place them on each side. They already come with their own little screws. What is this called? I'm gonna take my drill and drill these, these babies in, okay? Okay, so I do wanna show you guys a little trick. My husband showed me because with these screws being so little, it's really hard to get them to drill right into the wood. And so what he showed me is to take a nail like this and where the hole is gonna go, just lightly tap it. And that's just gonna help get your screw started. Take one of my screws. And this just goes in so much easier. Make sure that you're holding with one hand the screw. And as it goes in, it just drills in so much nicer. Awesome. Isn't it awesome? This is a, such an easy project that anyone can do. Like I said, this is the first time that I attempted this little tray and it is so cute. I mean, it was literally super simple. Just so gorgeous. Look at all this beautiful detail here. And I love these little handles that I purchased. They just make this project look so good. Oh, I am so happy with the way this turned out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really enjoyed making this 
um, project, I challenge you to start a new hobby. I know this time is a time that there's a lot of uncertainty. You know, you begin to worry about things and um, is the world ever gonna get back to normal? But the, even in the midst of all of this uncertainty, God is still in control and he has given us this time. He has given us this time as a gift for each and every one of us to take advantage of and learn something new. Dive deep into his word. Get closer to God. Get get to learn a new hobby or perfect a new skill. And so I challenge you to get out there and to do something, to start a new hobby, perfect a skill. And why not start with a DIY tray table, right? All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. Now, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to, oh yeah, why don't you go ahead and watch one of these videos over here. If you enjoyed this video, I know you're gonna enjoy this. All right, guys, till next time.